Do our control bar come back? Get the more of a cruise configuration here. So 50 miles to so far. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Throttle here. Okay, we got our ground speed at 85. How are we doing? You doing good flying for a while? Yeah, doing good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there I go. So keep us flying in that direction there. Why don't you fly us along for a little while here where I can take a break? Okay. More of the right there. Looks like we may need to climb a little bit here. Yep. I want to keep our fuel burned down. Eight thousand two hundred. There's our airport right there. Yeah. There's our RV. Oh. Oh. Easy now. It does look like we're going to have to climb here, so I'm going to slow us down a little bit. You're going to feel that bar go forward? Uh-huh. A little bit. Yeah. We'll get to kind of like a little cruise climb here. Okay. Here we go. We're cruise climbing at 200 foot per minute here. Okay. Nice job flying. <laughs> It's a nice one, it's smooth. Yeah, it's a nice one, it's smooth, huh? Okay, it looks like we're going to have to climb a little bit more here. I'm going to bring that bar forward a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's go off a little bit to the left here. Okay. We're going to have to... 500 feet. Above the clouds here, looking good. Looks like we'll have to keep that climb going here. Nine thousand seven hundred. Guess we shouldn't have lost all that altitude, huh? <laughs> okay, it looks like we could turn off the left here. It looks like we got a little passageway here. Okay, let me take the controls. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. We're gonna, okay, you've got the controls. I've got the controls. Here we go. Get that climb going here. Looks like the clouds are kind of broken up over here. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. But. Okay, so we're going to start getting a little bit of speed here. One thing I like about these new super trikes is that you can trim it out and cruise at 90 miles per hour true airspeed burning about four gallons per hour at 10,000 feet. Any trike can fly this. It's only a matter of speed. Now I am twice as fast. Love it. I love it. 92 airspeed, huh? The cloud tops are not that high, so we cruised over until about 15 miles out and it looks like we would have a straight shot between the clouds and the mountain range. Winds were not that high, so we decided to go under. miles out. Death Valley was in sight and it started to get much warmer after descending 14,000 feet to Death Valley, the bottom of the continental U.S. Oh, by the time, we'll just do a right pattern for 2-3 I guess. It's going uphill. Stovepipe, place for trike, midfield. 
Still down when right traffic two three. Still pipe. Don't see any wind. See any wind down there? I sure don't. No. I see that camping area. Yep, huh. yep, the camping area. Huh. Oh, there's the bottom. Beautiful. <laughs> there's the bottom. Top to bottom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let's go a little turn off here. We'll make a quick stop here. Oh, yeah. Turned off the video cameras. <laughs> Come on over here, wave at everybody. Here we are, the lowest point, <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> Give you a few minutes to warm up, and then we'll oh, yeah. blast out of here. Nine gallons of fuel left, that'll get us back. Uh-huh, good. Okay, you're all set? All set. Don't see anybody out there coming in. Stovepipe, lace board trike, entering road 923 for takeoff will be Westbound. Still pipe. Here we go, we got a stove pipe right there. Okay, so here we go. The speed trim on the rival wing moves the carriage forward about four inches closer to the nose and additionally tensions the rear cables which stabilizes the keel side to side creating more stability at high speed. When trimmed slower the cables loosen and increase the maneuverability. This provides the full speed range for the trike wing with a simple system. We headed back the same route with similar clouds. Low and slow plus high and fast with the power of a reliable engine. Here is a nice cruise climb from sea level to 10,000 feet. Total altitude climb up to Mount Whitney and from Death Valley over the Panamint Range at 10,000 feet was over four vertical miles. What a great way to see the planet.